In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to stop the bunch tight end offensive meta in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And if you're looking to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to know whenever we release a new video that could potentially be helpful to you in this game. Now, if you're new to the channel, one of the other things that I do want to let you know is today we're going to be talking a little bit about my 335 wide defensive ebook. And if you have not already received or picked up the entire defensive guide, uh, that link is available for you in the description. The full defense that I personally use, uh, I have a complete ebook for you uh, with video. Uh, and with write-ups in it and that is available for like I said just 15 bucks and it's in the description of this video now I want to talk about today how to stop the bunch tight end one last thing I did want to say is that if you uh, if you have any questions as we dive into this video my personal cell phone number is in the top left hand corner of your screen so if at any time you need to ask me anything or text me anything just hit me up via text message I'd love to connect with you that way and again it is my personal cell phone number you'll never get a text message from somebody that's not me okay so what I want to talk about today guys is I want to talk about um, a couple a defense that I like I actually have really really enjoyed um, against compression this is the we're talking when we say compression we're talking about gun bunch we're talking about gun bunch tight end we're talking about uh, tight offset we're talking all those things and that is a baseline zone drop style of defense and so I actually really really like this um, it, it's a, it's what I call field coverage quarters coverage that kind of thing so anyways we're gonna dive into this and again I don't know the technical term for any of this but this is just how I like to play. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to base a line. That's number one. Secondly, I'm going to put ball in the air to play ball. Option defense on conservative. Uh, and then right here, this is the key. The flats are going to be at 30 yards. The curl flats are at 10 and the hooks are at five. And what I want to do is I want to show you this defense. This is I'm going to base it out of cover four show two, but it can be utilized out of other coverages. Okay. And we're going to start with PA boot over. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to cover four show two. You see here that it gives people will be shocked that you're doing this, right? Um, but anyways, this is the look that we're going to give pre-snap. Okay. Now what I want you to know is we're going to first start with boot over. Okay. So the first adjustment that I will make out of this coverage is I will put both of my outside cornerbacks in cloud flats. As you see right there, they're going into cloud flats. The next thing I will do is I will shift my D line and I will basically move my user here and crash my line out. The reason that is so important to me is it gives the illusion that there could be pressure. It gives the illusion there could be run defense. Okay. The next thing that you want to do is you want to put both of your linebackers, okay, both of your linebackers into seam flats. As you see right there, they both went into seam flats. And then two more steps, okay, two more steps to this. So what we're going to, and, and real quick for, for you guys that uh, need to know the buttons, um, for the corners, here's how you do it. You're going to hit triangle, triangle, uh, if you're on PlayStation, or YY on Xbox, and then you're going to hit square if you're on PlayStation 4, X if you're on Xbox, and then down on the left joystick to put them in a cloud flat. The same thing for the right side corner, so you're going to hit triangle, triangle, and then for the right side corner, he is circle or B, so you're going to hit him, and then down on the left joystick, linebacker-wise, you're going to double tap the right D-pad, uh, right on the, on the, I'm sorry, you're going to double tap right onto the D-pad, um, and then you're going to be bringing up the square linebacker and the X linebacker if you're on uh, PlayStation. If you're on Xbox, that would be the uh, X linebacker and the A linebacker. Okay, so once you pull them up, you're just hitting up on the left D-pad. As you see right there, um, you're going to be able to do that, and that's going to put them into seam flats. And then your, your next thing is you're going to man up. So you're going to hit triangle, triangle, take your slot corner, and you're going to man him up onto the outside receiver okay this is going to help you stop the motion out corner route from stick it's going to help you stop inside switch all kinds of stuff so th that's what i would do is man him up and then the last step is to take your defensive end on the tight end side it has to be on the tight end side and you are going to put him in a bluff blitz so we're going to hit left on the d-pad twice and we're going to bring up the x linebacker on playstation or the a linebacker on xbox one and then we're going to flick the right joystick to the right 
And once you do that, you want to make sure that you pass commit and put your user on a blitz, obviously, uh, to be able to shoot runs better and to be able just to have better, better um, overall play. And what you're going to notice here at the snap of the ball is everything is going to be taken away. You're just going to kind of fill in in this middle of the field. So I'm just going to put my line back on a hook curl just to show you this. But again, snap of the ball, we roll out. And what you'll see is the delay fade. The only thing that's open is the delay fade late. It's not open early, okay? It's open late, not early. And if we take a look, and that's where like you'll just come back down on the delay, the delay fade, because again, you're in the middle of the field. There's nothing else you got to deal with. Um, the crossing route will be taken away. So again, I just want to go over this right here. Um, so if you watch this play, and we'll watch it from the tight end's perspective, if you watch this play here, you see you get a nice little jam on the post route. The next thing you're going to notice, the drag route, pretty much taken away, right? Pretty much. I mean, you can probably play man. You might be able to play maker it, but it's pretty much, pretty much taken away. Well, running backs obviously blocking uh, and then and then as you'll see here this tight end route taken away taken away and then you need to go to it right taken away taken away then you need to go to it as you can see right there once everything falls away um, but that's where my user needs to be so I'm gonna use her the crossing route right in the middle of the field and then I'm going to the tight end okay and then I'm going to the tight end so let me show you that one more time so we're gonna go to cover four show two Shift our D-line to the right, and then we're going to put those cloud flats out there, and as you can see, we're going to just sit in that coverage shell, okay? Now, what you want to notice about this, okay, what you want to notice about this is um, you don't have to, and you don't you don't have to be baseline to do this. You could do this out of unbaseline. It just helps a ton with curl flat corner. So let's say they run curl flat corner on this defense, okay? So for curl flat corner, one of the best plays in the entire game, what you're gonna notice here is you're gonna take it completely away. I mean, it, it's very difficult to run this play. As you can see right there, we're able to take it all away. One thing I did wanna hit on really quickly um, is if, let's say they run that to the wide side of the field, okay? So a lot of times, if, if it was me, I would recommend running your three wide receiver set to the wide side of the field. If you got good at flipping your bunch, you could definitely do that. Uh, I'm not necessarily the best at that. I don't normally flip my bunch, but I probably should more frequently. But anyways, you got this coverage right here. This is your coverage, this is your defense, okay? So now, if you take a look at what happens, let's say that they go to curl flat corner. You're gonna see here that we've basically taken it away because of the zone that, um, Perry Nickerson is on. You see there, I mean, they, they, the zones work really well together on this. Now, let's say, you know, let's say something else they might run. So another play that they might run, it would be the, the stick play, right? The, the, the stick play, I think, is the play that um, they're going to go to once they kind of see that you're the, the way you're playing defense. They're probably going to go to something like the stick play. Well, the beauty of this is that specific corner route from the stick play does not beat man-to-man -man coverage, okay? Uh, and that inside quarter zone will take the streak. You see there, the inside quarter takes the streak. And then as you see here, we got three people on that stick route. There's no way to throw that route um, and be successful. The last thing I want to show you is uh, a situation that you might occasionally run into, and that would be um, if they motion out, if they motion out circle, then go ahead and go ahead and instantly man somebody up on a circle. Okay, who you want to you want your man up coverage to be on whoever's the most outside receiver, and that's going to help you for streaks. So, for example, let's say that they run the play inside switch, but they want to try to attack you vertically, so they run two streaks because um, they, they see that you're putting them in clouds. Okay. As soon as they motion out Tavon Austin here, I'm gonna instantly go ahead and put that, that slot into man coverage on him. Okay, They're instantly going into man coverage. And I just want you to watch, with the man coverage out there, they can run as many streaks as they want. There's nobody open. As you can see right there, when you man up the sh whoever that streak is, you're gonna be sitting really, really good. Um, another example would be inside switch, okay? Inside switch is a really good play. Um, here's another example of what you could do. So you go to cover four, you put your zones out there, do everything you need to do, you set up your base defense. When they adjust, you adjust. So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna motion Devontae Adams over on a slam. As soon as I see that motion over, I'm instantly manning up that slot onto whoever they motion. 
So like right here, they motion him over, and as you can see, uh, whoops, I don't know what happened on that. I think we forgot to put him on a slant. Let me redo that. Let me redo that play so I can show you the combination, because that is one of the best. Um, that is one of the best plays from this offense, in my opinion, inside switch. So. Again, you're just shifting your D-line, crashing them out, and then you're putting your, your zones out there, whichever ones you want, and then voila, you have your stuff. Now, I want you to watch. So again, as soon as they motion him over, I'm going to put Devontae Adams on a slant from this play inside switch. Let me just make sure I have that up. Yep, I do. Okay, so whenever Devontae Adams goes in motion, you're going to see that I'm going to in instantly move my slot corner into man coverage on him. So he goes into man coverage on him. We're pass committing, of course, snap of the ball. We don't have to worry about Devontae Adams. As you see, because that cross man is so um, far out, he has the ability to actually win. So that is, in my opinion, the best way that you can start locking down the bunch tight end offense uh, in Madden 21. Now, if you guys are interested, I actually have a full ebook on this 3-3-5 wide defense. In my opinion, it is the best defense in the game. I've been running this defense since early June um, in Madden 20 and has consistently been very successful for me. It's able to send pressure, but really the more important thing is it's able to um, have really good run defense, have really good zones, have good matching coverages, as well as zone drop coverages that you can use to really stop some of these elite offenses. So um, if you want to get that full defensive ebook, that link is available in the description. The full ebook is just 15 bucks. And um, some of you might be sitting there and you're like, I'm a little hesitant to, to buy an ebook right now. Um, I would encourage you just to check out the sample then. Uh, I have a free sample for you in my text message membership. The beauty of the text message membership is it's completely free for you to get it. And every single week we update it with new defenses or new offenses um, that you can you can test out for yourself. And so anyways, all that to say, um, our next text message membership video should be dropping by the end of this week and we're gonna be covering the 335 normal. But what we also, the beauty of it is you get all the videos prior to. So we've already covered the 335 wide and that's where that one hour free preview is. So if you wanna pick that up, literally all you gotta do is pull your cell phone out and just text me. My cell phone number is 812 two one six three six four four and it is my personal cell phone number like i said you'll never receive a text message from anyone other than myself and it's just a way that i want to be able to connect with you guys i want to be able to help you guys as much as i possibly can and honestly i want to be able to learn from you guys as well as you guys are learning new things about the game so would love to connect with you via phone via text and um anyways we will see you guys in our next video just a quick reminder if you do want to get the full defensive guide it does help support the channel Channel and does help me to continue to be able to bring you guys as much Madden content as I possibly can. And again, if you want to get that ebook, it's just 15 bucks. It's in the description, and I guarantee you it will help you defensively. You will you will definitely have a different perspective of defense after you check out that, that ebook. So thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. And we will see you guys on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.